guys and welcome back to my channel so today i am going to do basically kiss mary kill with books but i'm going to call it kiss mary unread because killing a book sounds pretty harsh even if i hated it so we are just going to choose to unread it i decided to do this with my 2020 reads i've seen a few people do kiss mary kill with books and so i thought this would be a great way to talk about all of my 2020 reads. I read 50 books in 2020. I decided to keep the rereads because I figured if they were good enough to reread, they are good enough to be in this game. I did decide to take out all of the nonfiction reads because even though some of them I had some very high praise for, I just don't think it sounds right to put someone's story in this game this is supposed to be very lighthearted and very fun and so I am just going to decide to take those out. The books that I read in 2020 that are not going to be part of this game are Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Karen Kogareff and Georgia Hartsart, Scrappy Little Nobody by Ina Kendrick, Love Does by Bob Goff, Know My Name by Chanel Miller, Over the Top by Jonathan Van Ness, and Uninvited by Lisa Turkhurst. So those are all of the books that will not be in this game even though I did read them. Let's get started. Okay, let's see what my first one is. Um, okay, so first is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I gave that three stars. The Bromance Book Club by Lissa Kate Adams. I gave that 4.5 stars. I love that book. And then Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Oh man, I have two of my top 10 books. Okay, well we're gonna have to unread The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Goodbye. But I don't know. I rated Radio of Silence higher in my top 10 list, but the Bromance Book Club, I did love. I have I have to kiss the Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams, and I'm going to marry Radio of Silence. That was a hard first one. I'm Thinking of Anythings by Ian Reed. I gave that 3.25 stars. The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, I gave that a three. And then Sadie by Courtney Summers. So I am going to, this is kind of a hard one too because these were all very middle of the road books for me. I think I'm going to unread I'm Thinking of Ending Things, which I know is a very unpopular opinion, but that book just didn't, uh, but do I want to? Because it did creep me out. It gave I'm Thinking of Anything 3.25 stars and that was the highest one. We're going to marry it. I almost unread it and now I'm marrying it. Sadie and the Lightning Thief. Okay, I have to unread Sadie. I, I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't really care for it. Um, and then I'll kiss the Lightning Thief. I read it for the first time this year, so. Um, the Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell is my first one for this one. I gave that four stars. New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. I gave that four stars on my reread. I actually liked it so much more than when I was younger reading it. Um, and Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough. I keep getting ones that I rated the same. I rated Behind Her Eyes four stars too. Why can't this just be easy? Well, oh, okay. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Um, I'm gonna have to marry New Moon by Stephanie Meyer because I can't unread any of those. Like, Twilight is just... Twilight. I'm gonna kiss Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough because that ending was insane and I'm gonna have to unread The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell even though I did really like that it was creepy. Okay, Call Me By Your Name by Andre Osman. I gave out 2.5 stars. Um, one of the rare cases I liked the movie better which was really weird. I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> Twilight by Stephanie Meyer and then we Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I gave that three stars. Um, oh, and I gave Twilight three stars too. Okay, this one's actually easy. I'm gonna marry Twilight, I'm gonna kiss We Were Liars, and I'm going to unread Call Me By Your Name. 
The first one is My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren. I gave that three stars. Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer, four stars. I keep getting all the Twilight ones. And then Simon vs. The Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Okay, this is another kind of easy one, I think. I am going to unread Simon vs. The Homo Sapiens Agenda. I might have had a different opinion if I would have read it physically. I read it on audio and I just don't think that was the way to read it for me. I'll Kiss My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren. It wasn't a super memorable book for me, but I didn't hate it or anything. And then I'll Marry Breaking Dawn. That was my favorite on the reread. So good. Okay, I'm gonna just pick three out. There we go, okay. Home Before Dark by Riley Sager, four stars. Um, One to Watch by Kate Stamen London, I gave that 2.5. And then My Sister, The Serial Killer by, I will, butcher this name if I try so um it's just gonna be on the book right here um I gave that three stars another easy one okay it started off hard but now they're they're giving them to me easy the Mary Home Before Dark um I am going to kiss my sister the serial killer and I'm going to unread one to watch because Unwatch was so disappointing to me I could rant about this book for so long like I was so disappointed <laughs> do another one okay um, the Vanner Beakers of 141st Street by Karina Ian Glasser, I hope is how you say her name. Um, the 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Haro. I did not like that book. And Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This one's easy. I'm gonna unread the 10,000 Doors of January because it took me, like, was it three months to read it? And it was just boring. And I know a lot of people love it, so that's an unpopular opinion. So it's a me problem, but... That book did not do it for me. I am going to marry the Vader because of 141st Street. That book was so cute. And then I'll kiss maybe in another life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Rules for Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall. I gave that four stars. It was a scary book, I'll be honest, for YA. Um, Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. I gave that four stars. And then A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. Okay, that one's getting unread. Um, it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and it was just okay. I'm gonna marry <laughs> Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer and I'm going to kiss Rolls for Vanishing. Have I married all of the Twilight books? I think I might have. The Diviners by Libra Bray. I gave that 3.75 stars. I don't know why I rated it like that, but I did. All the Bright Places by Jessica Niven. I gave that 5 stars. And then, oh man. One Day in December by Josie Silver. 100% unread One Day in December by Josie Silver. That book was so overhyped. I, I, it's a book I genuinely don't understand the hype for. I don't like the cheating. I don't, I don't like, mm, no, mm, no. I'll Marry All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. That book was beautiful. It's so sad. It's so good. And then The Diviner by Libba Bray. I'll, I'll kiss it. I'll give it a little, a little smooch. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I feel like these are falling out because they're all folded and they keep hitting my hand. Okay. The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. I gave that four stars. Full Tilt by Emma Scott. I gave that three. And then The Whisper Man by Alex North. I gave four stars. I'm going to marry The Afterlife of Holly Chase. I don't know if I would have thought that. Um can we get to this but i have made that random decision and then i'm gonna kiss the whisper man by alex north which ew that sounds creepy um, and then i'll unread full tilt by emma scott it wasn't an awful book but it was compared to um the fault in our stars a lot which used to be my all-time favorite book seven husbands of evelyn hugo by taylor jenkins reed that was a reread for me i gave it five stars love it you've got to be kidding me no 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 Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I gave that five. I don't even want to pick the next one. And Let It Snow by John Green, Lauren Miracle, and Maureen Johnson. Okay, well, if it's not obvious, I gave that 2.5 stars, so we're unreading that. These are two books. Like, if you gave me a top five list of books that I want to marry that are my favorite, these would both be in there. Okay, we're going to marry Daisy Jones and the Six and just kiss the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. No, I want to marry both. We can, we can be sister wives. We can all be together. Next. 
The Night Swim by Megan Golden. I gave that four stars. City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. I gave that three stars. That was my least favorite Cassandra Clare book I read. And The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I'm gonna marry The Hating Game. I feel like that's kind of obvious. I love that book. I'm gonna kiss The Night Swim by Megan Golden. And I'm going to unread City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. Nevermore. The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I gave that five stars. Oh, and I gave The Poet X four stars. After by Anna Todd, I gave that three stars. Okay, well, we're gonna marry Nevermore. That was such a fun book. We are going to kiss The Poet X and we are going to unread after. Even though I don't want to unread after, I liked it. Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, I gave that five stars. Beach Read by Emily Henry, I also gave that five stars. Oh my gosh. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, I also gave that five stars. We have three five star reads in one choosing. I hate to say it, even though they're all five star reads and I love them, it's a very easy one, I think, because obviously if you know me, I'm going to marry the nightingale, duh, and then I'm going to kiss Beach Read, and I'm going to have to unread Clockwork Prince. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll unread it. We'll read it one day. Okay, I only have two more, so depending on what books they are, because I honestly haven't kept track in my head, we'll pick two. We'll just give these little ones. Uh, the Sun is Also Star by Nicola Yoon and Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. I'm not going to unread either because I gave Such a Fun Age three stars and I also gave three stars to so The Sun is Also a Star, so none of those were bad enough to unread. I'm going to marry The Sun is Also a Star and I'll kiss Such a Fun Age. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, let me know in the comments if you would have made any other different decisions or which ones you agreed with. But yeah, that was really fun. If you also had a fun time doing this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more bookish content from me. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.